Good afternoon, Attorney General Weiser. My family has been forever harmed by the senseless murder of my wife, Lynn. Thirty years of life together has ended with our lives in ruin. My financial burden is now immense. Our once substantial combined income is now zero. I am not the only one who is suffering from this murderous act. Many families are suffering. The aim, purpose, objective, goal, and end for the monies collected on behalf of the victim's families is clear. Public intent was and is to provide their monetary gifts directly to the victim's families. Public intent is self-evident and well-documented. Families of the victims are being used to fundraise, but there is no accountability to ensure that funds that are collected will go directly in cash payments and be provided to the families, and not in a timely manner. Before additional harm happens, such as the loss of a job, housing, and financial stability, a single victim's fund does not exist. Nothing like this is in place. When I go to the Boulder Community Fund, I see that funds are not all going to the families. When I go to the Colorado Healing Fund and see that they are confusing people into believing that funds collected are coming directly to us, they are not. Families have received $15,000 each and funeral expense assistance from COVA. We are watching millions of dollars being collected. Nancy Lewis at COVA has been unresponsive to distribution inquiries after performing 30, 60, and 90-day needs analysis. In other states in prior mass shootings, charities kept the funds. That is wrong. Those murdered are victims. Their lives are forever gone. This loss of life has been compounded by the misappropriation of public intent, which has served to re-victimize and capitalize upon the loss of those murdered. This is unacceptable. The organizations acting to control the monies collected are not fulfilling public intent and are creating immense distrust at a time of tragic loss and suffering. Victims are not being treated with fairness, respect, or dignity. Life is all about choice. No person, committee, or organization should decide for victims. The resolution? It is my intent to effect a positive change in outcome for families of the victims. Attorney General Weiser, please correct these unconscionable acts. We can do far better. What we need to do, and do quickly, is the following. Establish a single victim's fund for all the funds, foundations, and individuals collected in the name of our dead loved ones. Please begin immediately with Governor Polis and create a specific fund for victims' families. Require an independent actuary to receive, distribute, and publicly account for all funds and do this quickly, not months or several weeks. Interim distributions can be done and are necessary. The process of working with victims must be open and transparent. Processes such as probate need to be explained clearly and resources provided. A list of existing and already federal capitalized resources such as VOCA and OVC where victims can apply for federal assistance should be provided. Overwhelming concern and frustration requires your help. I want to make certain no other families experience the re-victimization we have in the aftermath of a mass murder. Pursue people and organizations that are collecting money while misleading the public into thinking that their donations are coming directly to us. Create a lasting, transparent, an efficient response for Boulder, Colorado, and the United States. Let us lead, not by a better example, but by the very best example. 
Use the force of law to stop nonprofits from using language that misleads and confuses the public. Your leadership with Governor Polis will provide bolder guidance and direction for restoring that public trust. Thank you, John McKenzie.